Good morning, guys. Welcome back. I've missed you guys. I literally posted last week. So today I'm so excited because we're gonna go shopping at Sephora together. And the only real way that I can justify me spending so much money there is if I film it for you guys. So really you guys are just the excuse that I needed to do this. There's a few stores for me that when I walk in there, I just get an instant boost of serotonin. And one of them is Sephora. I'm gonna be doing a lot of shopping today. I do have kind of a list of things that I need restocks of. And then I also wanted to try some new products too. The New York Sephora is kind of scare me just because they're so massive. So we'll see how this goes. I also love my like outfit and stuff today. I'm wearing this top. I think this is from Take Care. I got this so long ago. And then I have all of my favorite jewelry on right now. And we're gonna go and I'm so excited. I do think I wanna stop and get coffee first and like some food because I have no food in my apartment right now, per usual. Okay, okay guys, ready? I feel like you guys are my children and we're like going together. <laughs> So the first thing on my list is Salt and Stone. I've seen so many people on TikTok talking about them. I'm sure you guys have too. Specifically, people I feel like talk about their natural deodorant. Whoa, oopsies. Natural deodorant kind of scares me a little bit. I don't know how well it works. Mm, I kind of like this one. Oh, this one's also good too. Uh, I'm so indecisive. The one thing I don't like is when my deodorant doesn't mix well with like my perfume. I feel like they need to be cohesive. Okay, I think I like this one the best. Are, are you guys completely out of it, the deodorants? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing? Oh, that's okay. Maybe I'll order it online. Well, that was dumb. I literally just smelled all of them for 10 minutes and I picked the scent that I liked and there's none left. Okay, well, I'm gonna order that online because I really do wanna try it and see like how it lasts throughout the day. If any of you guys have that, can you like comment? Every time I come here, they're sold out of the Kosas facial spray, so they have two left, so I obviously need to try it. I can't believe that they actually have it. Like, this is, this is a big day. Oh my god, it's Madeline Argy. What? I love her. Another thing on my list has been the Glossier perfume. It smells so good. Me and my mom both love this scent, and it's supposed to smell a little bit different on everybody because it kind of melts into your skin and adapts to your personal scent, which I think is so cool. Should I try this? Maybe I'll try the small version and see how I like it. A Y is another one of my favorite brands. I think my favorite product from them right now that I'm using is this. This is their leave-in conditioner. I'm actually almost out of this, but I wanted to try some of their body care. So I've heard good things about it from some of my friends. And I feel like my friends are the people that I, they influence me the most. <laughs> like I really trust their opinions. So if they like something, I usually get it and try it. I smelled this I think a while ago. I want to smell it again. Let's see if I still like it. Mm. It smells so good. My mom actually got this because she loves it so much. So I think I need to get it. This is definitely my guilty pleasure. The Touchland hand sanitizers. They're so expensive. They're literally $10 for one hand sanitizer. It's definitely not worth it, but like in my head it is. And it definitely like incentivizes me to use hand sanitizer more because I actually like doing it. I'm gonna get this one, Berry Bliss. You guys know Drunk Elephant is one of my favorite skincare brands, so obviously I always come look, but I've never seen this lippy balm from them. I don't know if I've just like missed it, but it looks so cool. It has shea butter peptides. I might try this. This looks, wait, should I smell it? Okay, it doesn't really smell like anything, but. Has anyone actually tried this and does it actually work? I really want to get it, but I just like, does it even do anything? 
you guys remember when like two years ago the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick was like all the rave? I feel like people just stopped talking about it one day. Like what happened? It's so good. I just saw it here and it like reminded me. And I've been wanting a new lip liner to try. So they have one left. That's a sign. It's probably not a sign, but I pretend it is. Someone in here definitely turned up the music. I can't wait to get copyrighted on this. I haven't used the Clarins lip oil in I feel like so long because I lost mine and I used to use them all the time in college. And I just like saw them right now and it kind of made me miss them. I feel like I need to repurchase it because I used mine so much and I just like lost it one day and never repurchased it. I definitely think I lost it at my college bar. So I hope some girl like used it, but. And they have one left. Wow, I'm like. I'm so lucky today. One of my good friends told me about the brand Merit recently, and I tried her products like when I was staying with her, and I really liked them, but I never tried their highlighters, so I think I'm gonna buy one. I've never like owned anything from them. I'm gonna try. It looks like there's three shades. Maybe this one? Let's see. Yeah. Perfect. The brow pencil that I use every day is from Benefit, but I think I'm gonna pick up another one because I'm running out. Oh god, I forgot what shade I am. Four? Four? Yeah. I've only ever tried Jisau once. I'm definitely saying it wrong. I tried their lip oil, this thing, and to be honest, I didn't really like it. But I do still want to try their hair products. Okay, this is so awkward. <laughs> I specifically want to try their hair perfume. And I really don't know like what the difference is between like normal perfume. Like, can't you just spray normal perfume in your hair? I don't know. But this seems like intriguing to me. Okay, they also have two different scents of the hair perfume. They have this one, which is the original. And then they have this one, which is like a floral. Hi guys, so it's a couple days later now. I obviously really wanted to show everything that I got, but even more than just a haul, I really wanted to try the products with you guys. I feel like it's just kind of anticlimactic if I like go and then don't even show me testing like the new stuff that I got. So I thought it would be fun. I have my bag of goodies right here. This is like actually when I, when it sets in for me, how much I just spent. There's so much stuff in here, I'm so excited. Okay, first things first that I have to show you guys, I'm so happy that I found this. I ended up passing by a different Sephora the next day and I just decided to check and they had the salt and stone deodorant that I wanted. Obviously you guys know it was sold out at the first Sephora I went to. I was so excited to see this. Really hope it like actually works. <laughs> the main reason I really wanted this is because it's supposed to be better for you. I've been reading kind of like about deodorants and certain products and I know that some deodorants can not be so good for you but this one is supposed to be. I'm so excited for this. I've seen Katie Fang talk about this a lot on TikTok um, and it just looks so cool. So let me try it. It's actually way less scented than I thought it would be. I thought it would smell like super sweet. I think just cause of the packaging, like I thought it'd be like watermelon or something, but it's actually so refreshing and it like sprays evenly. Like sometimes the sprayers on facial sprays just like don't work correctly. Obviously I got the OI moisturizer. I want to eat this. I always put my lotion on like this because if the lotion's on like the palms of my hands and I'm like touching things, it just gets everywhere. The Jisau hair perfume. This actually did smell so good in the store. Oh, it just makes your hair smell so nice. I remember one of the most niche compliments I ever got from someone was that my hair smelled good. And I've never forgotten that. I don't know, ever since then, I just like want to have good smelling hair. I still don't really understand like what the difference is if I just sprayed normal perfume in my hair. Couldn't I just do that? I probably could. I obviously picked up another brow pencil. I also got the Glossier perfume that you guys saw. Wait, why does this kind of look like the Kylie Jenner perfume that she just came out with? This kind of smells like candy, which I usually don't like for perfumes, but for some reason it works with this one. I grabbed the hand sanitizer. Unfortunately, as you guys know, I did cave. The Clarins lip oil, I'm so happy that I got a restock of this. I feel like these lip oils are just not talked about that much for how good that they are. They feel so good too on my lips. I hate when my lip gloss is like sticky. And then I grabbed the Pillow Talk lip liner. I also grabbed this lip balm from Drunk Elephant. It's just a very clear balm, almost like wearing Vaseline. If you guys remember the highlighter that I grabbed from Merit, I wanna try this with you guys. 
I don't have makeup on right now, so I don't know how it would lay with like foundation and stuff. But this looks exactly how I wanted it to look. It's just like a very sheer highlight. It's just a super natural sheen. I don't know if you guys can see it. I really like this. I'm actually so happy that I got this. Lastly, I know this is kind of random, but I just got some PR when I got home from Say. And I thought I'd just try it with you guys right now because I wanted to get stuff from Say when I was there, but a lot of it was like sold out. So I thought I'd just try some of these with you guys. They sent their Star Glow. It looks like it's an illuminating like primer type thing. Probably similar to like the Drunk Elephant Dude Drops, I would think. Wait, am I supposed to mix this with something? I feel like a disco ball right now, I'm glowing. Wow, this is so nice. It's like the most natural glow. I feel like this with the Merit highlighter is just gonna be a great duo for me. Oh, they sent their skin tint. I wanna try this actually. Okay, this is definitely not my shade, but it blends really nicely though. It almost like doesn't have to be my shade because it's actually very sheer. Really like that it has SPF in it because especially with summer coming, I really wanna make sure that I wear SPF every day. I've been kind of bad at it to be honest. I need to like have products that I like with SPF in it. They also lastly sent some concealer. Okay, I don't really have like too many thoughts on this right away. It looks like it's like covering everything and it's not too thick, which is important for me. I just hate when my concealer looks really cakey. That's everything that I got, guys. This was so fun for me to film. I really hope you guys liked watching it as much as I loved like filming it for you guys. Anytime you guys wanna see like a Sephora vlog or like an Ulta vlog, I'm always down. But I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye guys. Bye.